Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Lagos. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch it. I create content around fashion lifestyle, sewing and DIYs. So if you're into any of these things, don't forget to subscribe and join this family, all right? And if you're a returning subscriber, you're my OG and you always come back to watch my video. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I don't take you guys for granted, okay? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a skirt block if you're interested in learning how to do this, just keep on watching, okay? These are the measurements that I'll be needing for a skirt. You'll find the link in my description box to take accurate the measurements. First, thing, first measurement to be needing is waist. The waist measurement, the hip measurement, the knee circumference, and the apex. Apex, same thing as the nipple to nipple measurement. While the length measurement we need for these skirts are the waist to hip measurement, the waist to knee measurement, and the skirt length, that's the length of the skirt. So these first four measurements here are measurements that are going to be the circumference, like that. The, the, these first three go around the body. So we're going to be dividing these first three measurements by four. These are the circumference measurements. So your waist circumference, your hip circumference, and your knee circumference. So we're going to be dividing these first three measurements by four. So we divide those by four. While the apex measurement, which is your nipple to nipple measurement, we're going to be dividing that by two because your darts just go from one side of the nipple to the other side of the nipple so we're going to be dividing the apex measurements by two so this becomes um, 7.5 this becomes 10 inches this becomes 8 inches while this becomes 3.5 inches So this measurement here is what we're going to be applying on the pattern because the pattern is going to just be one fourth of our body measurements and the length measurements remain the same, we don't divide the length measurements. The first thing we'll do is to mark our waist measurements right at the top of our paper. So our waist measurement from, from what we've divided earlier, our waist measurement is 7.5 inches, that's the waist measurement divided by 4. So we're going to mark that at the beginning of this paper. Then the next thing to do is to apply our length measurements. So from the top of this paper, we're just going to place our tape and mark our waist to hip measurement. The waist to hip measurement is 10. And in order to get a straight line, I'm just going to mark two points. 10 inches. Now our waist to knee measurement is 22 inches. I'm just going to be marking 22 inches on two points. And now, because my my dress, my skirt is a really short skirt, and the length of my skirt is 17 inches, so I'm just going to also mark the length of my skirt. Once I've marked those lengths, I'm just going to go ahead now and use a ruler to rule out these lines. So depending on the length of your skirt, you may want to play with this pattern according to the length of your skirt. Mine is really short, so for yours, you can make it longer to the ground or to below your knee. So it's basically the same process. Once I'm done reading out the lines, the next thing I'm going to be doing now is just to label the lines. So this is my hip line. This is my length of skirt and this is my knee line. So on the hip line, I'm going to be marking my hip measurements. I've already marked the waist measurement, which is this point. The next thing to do is to mark my hip measurement. My hip measurement divided by 4 is 10 inches, so I'm going to be applying 10 inches on this line. And then 
my knee circumference is 32 inches and I divided by that by 4 so I'm going to be marking 8 inches on the knee line this is the knee line so once I've marked those lines I'm going to use my ruler now to connect the points so I'm going to be connecting from the waist this is the waistline by the way so I'm going to be connecting from this waist to the hip and then from the hip to the knee once I'm done with that, I'm now going to go ahead and mark the apex line. So my apex, which is my nipple to nipple, is 7 inches and I divided that by 2. So I'm going to be applying 3.5 inches on my apex. So on this, my hip line now, I'm just going to mark 3.5 inches. And I'm going to mark it all the way to the top, so just to get a straight line. And then from this hip line, I'm going to come up two inches so that my dart isn't too long. I'm just going to mark two inches and make it straight line. Now for the dart, depending on your hip hip measurement. For a hip that is four, 40 inches and above, we're going to be using one inch that. And for a hip that is less than 40 inches, we're going to be using six over eight. This is what six over eight is. That's um, three quarter of an inch for measurements that are, hip measurements that are less than 40. So in my case, the hip is 40 inches and it's above 40, from 40 and above rather. I'm going to be using one inch for the dart. So from this dart line, from this apex line, so this is the apex line. The apex line, I'm going to mark one inch. And I'm going to connect this one inch to this point. I'm just going to use my ruler to connect those two points. Once I'm done with that, the next thing to do is to create my front waist measurements. Right now, this straight line here is going to serve as my back waist. So I'm, for my front waist, I'm just going to come down one inch from the back waist up to the apex line. I'll draw a straight line there, like so. And then I'm going to connect this point to the waist. So this new line I have here now becomes my front waist. And this previous guideline here is going to be my back waist. Now before I go ahead, this apex that this dart that we have created here, I'm going to be replacing it on this other side because if I do not, don't do that, I'm already taking away from the waist measurement and then the skirt will no longer fit. So I'm going to be replacing this one inch here on the side of the waist. So I'm just going to mark one inch here. And then I'm going to connect to the hip. If you use three quarter of an inch, you don't replace the same three quarter of an inch on the waist. Alright, guys, I'm supposed to connect this here. So that's that for the front or the skirt with the waist. Now, the next thing to do is to finish up the length of my skirt. So, since this point here is how short I want my skirt to be, I'm going to be ignoring the rest of this. The waist to knee measurements. So I'm just going to go ahead now and mark my hemming allowance for the skirt. So right here I'm just going to mark two inches 
from the length. And then I'm just going to mark my the measurements I have here. Right here I have 9 inches. So I'm just going to apply that 9 inches here. And then the 9 inches, I'm going to also add quarter of an inch to for ease. So I'm just going to take my tape and quarter of an inch, add that. And then I'm going to connect to this point from here to there. So I'm going to ignore this line and this will serve as my hemming. Now the last thing to do is to mark the zip that. So um, from the back waist, which is this guideline we started with earlier, I'm just going to mark half inch, put here. And then I'm going to connect this half inch to the, this point here. So that's that for the pattern that we're done, done with the pattern. The next thing I'm going to do now is to cut out my, that, my pattern. So in order to get rid of this pointy edge, I'm just going to blend, blend here so that it's not pointed. Please ignore this initial line I have there. Ignore that line. So this this becomes our front waist. This is our back waist. When we're cutting the pattern, this is a zip. The zip, the zip that so the zip is going to fall along this line, and then this is our dart the apex. So, this is what is going to be our dart, and that's it, guys, for the pattern. For a longer length of skirt, all you need to do is to still apply your knee circumference on the length of your skirt and do the same process for the hemming. Okay, guys, so that brings us to the end of this pattern tutorial. This is just a basic skirt block and it can be used to create a lot more different styles of skirts apart from just the simple pencil skirts, it can be used to do a whole lot of skirts. I'll be inserting different kinds of skirts, you can use this pattern block at the end of this video. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you really learned something today and let me know in the comment section if you're going to be creating this pattern and if you're going to appreciate my next video which is going to be the cutting and the sewing of this skirt and subscribe if you haven't share this video to whoever you know would need it and see you guys in my next video stay beautiful or handsome as the case may be okay bye